Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, which is your station where you get to watch, learn and have some experience. I'm your tutor, Mr. Mangi Francis, taking you through Physics Form 3 and today we are going to look at momentum in this lesson. So stay tuned and uh, pay attention. So what are the goals of this lesson? By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to, number one, state and explain conservation of momentum. Uh, as well as define momentum and then we'll be able to solve questions involving conservation of momentum so momentum conservation momentum is conserved in any collision or explosion provided an external force acting on the colliding or the uh, 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 exploding bodies so let's take an example uh, using the vehicles that we have here the initial momentum of the aero car has been conserved and transferred to the red car and this creates a collision throughout the four vehicles so let's take this example if these two bodies a truck of mass 0 0.5 kg moving at 1.5 meters per second collides and remains attached to another initially stationary truck of mass 1.5 kg we are required to calculate the common velocity of the truck after collision. So since the total momentum, we need to first determine total momentum uh, before collision. So for the truck, this gives us 0 0.5 kg uh, multiplied by the velocity, since momentum is the product of mass and velocity. So this gives us 0 0.6 kilogram meters, uh, kilograms uh, meters per second. What about... Uh, after colliding the velocity becomes zero and this gives us a change in uh, total momentum to be 0 0.6 kilograms meters per second momentum is conserved in the collision so total momentum after collision is therefore 0 0.6 kilogram per mi uh, kilogram meters per second so total momentum equals to total mass multiplied by the common velocity now we have the total momentum being 0 0.6 kilogram uh, meters per second and this must be given uh, we need to get the total mass since uh, the two body co uh, join uh, get embedded together and this gives us a mass of 2 kg multiplied by the velocity making V the subject of the formula by dividing both sides gives us a common velocity of 0 0.3 meters per second so did we get to understand how we determine uh, the uh, common velocity. Let's try to answer the following question. A train wagon of mass 800 kg moving at 4 meters per second collides and remains attached to another wagon of mass 1,200 kg and that is moving in the same direction at 2 meters per second. So calculate the common velocity of the wagons after collision. Now you can refer this to Secondary Physics Students Book 3 or you can send a text through the numbers on your screen. Visit us in YouTube at Erimu TV or Facebook page at Erimu TV or give us a tweet at Erimu TV underscore KE. Once again, I'm your tutor Mr. Mongi Francis. Uh, stay tuned for more lessons to come.